Hi everyone, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tutorials. Today I am going to show you how to install Visual Studio Code, VS Code and set up with Python and Django extensions. Let us start. First, you need to install the VS Code and then installation of the Python. Next, you have to go with installation of Django. And the last one is, we need to add extensions of Django for VS Code. First, let's download VS Code. Open your browser and type VS Code download for Windows. And then click on download button and select the version for your operating system, Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Once after clicking the download button, it will take a few minutes to download your software. Once it is downloaded, you need to open the installer and follow the installation steps. So actually you need to follow the four installation steps. First you need to accept the license agreement. The second step is choose the installation location. And third step is check the box to add to path. There is a checkbox with a caption add to path. That is very important. And then click install and wait for some time to complete the installation. So here I have the VS code. Directly I'm opening the VS code. Now the second step is installation of Python. We need to check whether the Python is already installed or not. If it is not installed, let's see how to install it. Let's open command prompt and check the current version of the Python. Python hyphen hyphen version. Yes, here there is no Python. So let us set up the Python. Open your browser and type Python download and click on the download Python and take the current version of the Python, download Python 3.13.2. Just open here, double click on the exe file. Before installation, you make sure this add python.exe to path and check both, then click on install now. It will take few minutes to install the setup. Yes, here is the setup was successful and close this. Once installed, verify it by opening the terminal. Open the terminal and type python version. Here, still it is not recognized. That means python is installed, but it is not recognized at command prompt. So for that, what you have to do? You need to set the environmental variables. Even you can see here, if you type python, it is showing the python is already installed, but it is not recognized. How to do that? So go to the file location. You see the current path of the Python where it is available. And I'm copying this path. Go to the environmental variable. Edit system environment variables. See the tab advance and click on the environmental variables. And go to the system variables. And see the path and click on edit. And click on new. I'm going to copy paste here. Okay. And also go to scripts. Here we can find the pip. So then only the command prompt will recognize the pip command. So take the path of these scripts where pip is there and go to the environmental variable. And here also go to the path. Edit and uh, click on new. I am pasting here the path for the scripts also. There are two settings we did it. One is Python path, other one is pip installation. To check whether it is recognized or not now, again I am going to open command. I will check here Python version. Yes, here is the Python version. Just now we have installed Python 3.13.2. Now let's see pip version. Yes. Here is the pip, the latest version is 24.3.1. Now, your system is ready with Python and VS Code. Now, let's see what is the third step. We need to install Django. So, if you want to install Django, I'm going to use pip install Django. Now, it will take few minutes to install the Django. Yes, successful install. Once it is installed, you need to check the version of Django. How can I check? by writing this command python hyphen m django 
version yes here is the django version 5.1.6 now here it is showing that we need to upgrade the pip version previously it is 24 if you want to upgrade the pip version we need to use the command python you can see here you can type the same thing instead of using dot uh, exe i'm using python and you can copy paste of this now your pip version will be upgrade successfully upgrade to pip version 25 if you want to see you can use pip version so now previously it is 24 now it is 25 now your system is ready with django installation python and pip now let us open vs code which is already installed earlier what is the next step add django extensions for vs code once the vs code is installed you need to add the django extensions so i'm going to open vs code and go to the extension from this extensions you search with python that means your vs code should support with python and django and here i'm going to click python we have an option called install this python either by microsoft or intelligence you have to use any one now i'm going to install it now this is installation is in progress once it is done you will observe this screen will be appeared now let us go to django search for django here we have many djangos so which version django you have to install the first one you can see here baptist you select this one and this guy's django you have to install and click django and click trust publish yes now django is enabled now search with django template the third one is django templates and install django template and this is installed the next one you need to go to the snippets django snippets the django snippet we have to click here and install this guy is django you have to install once it is done you will get this message so here what we did we have enabled the python and next django the third one is django template and fourth one is django snippets what is the next step if you want to connect django to mysql you need to install mysql client so the last step is if you want to connect to database mysql either from the python or django you need to connect by using mysql client let's see how to install it and go to command prompt and type pip install mysql client now we got the message successfully installed mysql client 2.2.7 that's it guys you are successfully installed vs code python and django extensions now you are ready to start coding amazing django projects if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss the update thank you